So unless you've been living under a rock for the past couple of days, you've probably heard about this little incident that happened during the Oscars between Will Smith and Chris Rock. So today we're going to talk about how Will Smith is American men. And that's not exactly a compliment. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about it. So hello everybody, my name is Eric. Welcome back to Grace Nerd. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when new videos get uploaded. This channel is basically dedicated to talking about theology in an understandable way or talking about the Christian life or commentating on culture from a Christian worldview. So if you enjoy yourself, make sure that you leave a like. So like most relatively sane conservatives and other basically normal people, I went through Sunday not even being aware that the Oscars were actually happening. But the next morning, I started to see pictures float around on social media of Will Smith basically holding his hand in the air next to Chris Rock's face and didn't really know what it meant. But eventually I did, of course, get curious and poked around YouTube and eventually did come across the full uncensored version of what exactly happened. Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> so, in short, Chris Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's hair. It's unclear whether or not he knew that she had a condition called alopecia, which basically causes hair loss. Will Smith initially laughed along with the joke, but perhaps he hadn't fully processed it yet. And apparently when he looked over and saw his wife's reaction, he got up and basically gave birth to memes that will probably last until the end of time. <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. He's my wife's name out your mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your no! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was the greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> Some people think this whole incident was staged, but I highly doubt that. I don't think anyone who entered that room really wanted the focus to be taken away from all the political shenanigans that were going on in the room, and I don't think the incident ultimately allowed anyone to leave looking any better. Twitter is basically divided over the event. People on the left generally, though not always, are basically praising Will Smith for his bravery in defending his wife, whereas people on the right are either questioning whether the incident was real or they're basically saying that Will Smith should have just gotten over it. It was just a joke. In the end, I really don't care who you are. When I look at Will Smith in this incident, and as I look at his career over the past several years, I see symptoms of a disease that I believe infects the average American man, whether it be far leftists out in Hollywood or whether it be men in the church who are feeling that pull towards worldliness. In the time since this slap heard around the world, Will Smith has gotten ruthless mockery, I think deservedly so, from commentators about the fact that he didn't express this kind of rage over the fact that his wife was completely unfaithful to him and even said it straight to his face. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. He is the true definition of a cuckold husband. You heard this phraseology of a cuck going around during, for instance, the 2016 election when people who didn't like Donald Trump on the right were basically called cucks because clearly they didn't care about their country very much, the way that a man doesn't care to protect the honor of his wife. Well, this is literally the case with a man like Will Smith. He had 
every right to leave her because of her unfaithfulness, or he had every right to demand faithfulness from her. And yet he didn't. He ultimately allowed her to justify what she did, and he submitted to her desires. And while Will Smith is the main focus of this video, I'm here to make a much broader point. I would say that the average American man is a cuck to some degree. Sorry if you find this language crass, but it is very literal. Probably the best definition of pornography that I've heard in recent days is that it is turning yourself into a cuck. You are basically watching another man go at it with your standard of beauty there in front of you on the screen. Rather than pursue what you find to be beautiful in real life, you are passing this responsibility off to another man to do the deed for you before your eyes. I remember the first erotic content I was exposed to. I remember what many would consider to be very mild sex scenes on daytime soap operas and how they completely drove me wild as a 12 year old. I remember the fire that I would feel burning in me when I would see James Bond seduce one of his Bond girls. I could go into painful detail about how this progressed to sneaking other PG-13 level love scenes, or how this progressed to R-rated sex scenes, or how this eventually progressed to more softcore things on the internet. I could tell you about the constant battle that resulted in many of my single years. And I could tell you how the remnants of this battle are only kept at bay through constant humility and transparency with my church, and now in my marriage with transparency with my incredibly gracious and faithful wife. Internet pornography and the porn light that we often see coming out of Hollywood these days does two strangely contradictory things to men. On the one hand, it sort of causes us to worship women and put them on a pedestal that women in real life could never live up to. But on the other hand, it also causes us to degrade women in our own minds, basically putting them in a place where we expect their sexuality to respond to our every beck and call. When we succumb to these lusts as men, we rob ourselves of any sense of moral authority. While there is grace for Christian men as we stumble on the path to victory, we are not built to feel peace and strength while coexisting with sin. We are built for holiness. We are called to be leaders as men, whether single or married, in such a way that we earn the respect of the women in our lives, especially our wives. In our failure, we feel unable to demand any faithfulness from a woman who pledges her life to us. Sin makes us feel pathetic. As much as we might laugh as we look at a man who has basically been groomed to be cuckled by Hollywood, when I look in his eyes, I see the same emotion that even Christian men feel when they succumb to these temptations. And in our resultant insecurity, when we feel that our feminine idol, whether it be a real person or something in our imagination, is threatened, whether that threat is real or imagined, we lash out. <laughs> Will Smith is the American man, and our only hope is Christ. Christ's bride was unfaithful beyond our comprehension. And unlike Will Smith, that unfaithfulness was completely unwarranted because Christ was sinless. Yet, he died for us anyway. And for those of us who have put our faith in him, he is going to continue to sanctify us and make us faithful in spite of ourselves. In the meantime, he continues to be gracious to us and faithful to us in our failings as he continues to walk with us on the path to victory. So there you have it, folks. There's my thoughts on this issue for now. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure that you leave a like and subscribe and go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you know when new episodes get uploaded. Or if you're listening over on your favorite podcast platform, make sure that you follow. So I'm going to be moving this weekend, so we'll see if this is my only episode for the week or if I manage to upload one on my normal day on Saturday morning. We'll see. But we will see you whenever the next episode does happen to be. So thanks for listening or thanks for watching. 